first one to go viral is this one here that says, his opinion does not define you. And I found that of my drawings, it's always the ones with sort of the simplest image that tend to be shared the most. This one's been shared over 420,000 times on Tumblr. I'm a Montreal-based artist, and I work under the pseudonym Ambivalently Yours. Most of my work is online, um, illustration-based, and it has feminist inspiration and lots of pink. The internet can be a pretty volatile place, so I was afraid of what speaking up as a feminist artist, what that would do in terms of backlash. I didn't want to, to censor myself just because I was afraid, so I thought that being anonymous was sort of a way to give myself permission to be a bit more daring in my art. I used to work in the fashion industry, doing print design and creative work. A lot of the women, my coworkers and I, were put into situations where we had to feel like we were in competition with one another. So after a while, it became a very difficult sort of environment to work in. I went back to art school and did a master's in, in art with a focus on feminist art. Fashion and feminism kind of seem like two contradictions. So it's in this environment that I started Ambivalently Yours. I started leaving these ambivalent notes in public places. So I would write a note to an inanimate objects and, and leave them and I started posting them on this blog. And then after that I decided I wanted to do more drawing responses to sort of my feminist questions and concerns. And then I just started posting them on this Tumblr page. People started finding my drawings and then writing to me really personal messages and questions to which I started responding to with drawings. I think a lot of people can relate to the feminist ideas that I'm putting forward in the drawings because a lot of people are affected by these issues. I think this project brings women together because by posting messages from strangers on the internet, other people can sort of see that they're not alone in the way they're feeling. And it also makes you realize that there's a community out there of people that get you. And I think that maybe through this work, I'm creating a platform for these people to be able to connect with one another. And I'm also trying to help people realize that their voices are important and valid.